Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be my brand review of I'm From. I feel like you can probably guess that this trial went really well for me. I'm so happy I tried this brand and it's so funny because I did not have this brand on my radar. But you all told me about how great this brand is. Do I tell you all enough how much I appreciate you? I really appreciate you. We have such a great comment section on this channel. I was thinking about how, you know, so many channels, the comment section is a dumpster fire. You all are so helpful in the comments, so kind. I just, I really appreciate you. I know we don't have any kind of a, a name for the subscriber base here. Subscribe so you can become part of the Untitled family. It's the hottest thing. Everyone wants to be a part of the Untitled family. Today's video is going to be my thoughts on the products I did purchase from I'm From. From? I'm? From? Yes. I did buy these through YesStyle. They did send me a coupon and then I covered the rest with my points, reviews, and my cash. I'm telling you all, I will reiterate it. Do reviews on YesStyle. You get up to a dollar in points for every review you did. In fact, the shirt that I'm wearing today, this is an old purchase from YesStyle. I pulled out all my old YesStyle clothes, took pictures in them, posted reviews. That's a dollar every item. I... I need that. I need that money. I'm just saying. I also do have a promo code with YesStyle. It is rabbit hole if you want to get a discount on your order. If any of you have promo codes which you can sign up for, feel free to drop them in the comments below if you guys want to support each other. YouTubers are so not supposed to say things like this, but I'm self-aware over here. I know that you all are the reason I tried this brand. I gotta be thankful for that. If you are here for a review on just one product, timestamps and links are always in the description box below. And one more thing before we get into the reviews, I thought it would be really fun to kind of rank these products. And the reason I'm saying this is because back on that video where you all told me to try this brand, uh, which was my plan for brands to try in 2021, in that video comments section, you all told me the same products over and over again. I compiled a list and bought mostly your top recommendations. And I thought it would be fun to see how my ranking compares to your ranking as a whole. But, but again, one more thing I do want to emphasize, I like everything from this brand. My trial results went extremely well. I actually have some products here that I am not sure I could live without. And do you understand how hard it is at this point in reviewing skincare to make that kind of a statement? I have tried so many products. So many products can easily be replaced by other products. And yet I think I found some holy grails in this brand. And did I have any more notes on I'm From as a whole? Oh, I do. So this is a cruelty-free Korean skincare brand. That is something that a lot of you had expressed interest in, is wanting to know which brands are cruelty-free. This one is, and they do have vegan options. Now, of course, not every line from this brand is going to be vegan. We have an I'm From Honey line, for example, that would not technically be a vegan brand, but plenty of these are. I'll try to make sure I mention that throughout the video. So let's get into product reviews. I do want to start with my absolute favorite and work my way down to the might repurchase category. Again, emphasis on the fact that I did enjoy everything. Let's start with what your top pick is. I don't need to look at my notes because I remember this extremely well. Your top pick was the I'm From Honey mask. Oh my goodness, I had so many recommendations for this specific product. So many of you said it is holy grail status, it has completely changed your skin. The level of raving about specifically the I'm From Honey mask is part of what pushed me not just over the edge in ordering, but got me to be extremely excited about trying this brand. And what do I think is the number one product? Yeah, you all are very, very correct. Oh my goodness, this honey mask is, it's rather mind blowing. I probably should have said this sooner, but if you're wondering about the I'm From name, it's because every product tells you exactly where the ingredients within that product are from. So this one is G Jiri Mountain, Korea. I may not pronounce uh, cities correctly. 
at all. I may completely butcher them, in fact. But anyway, as far as this mask, it contains 38.7% natural honey. That's obviously the superstar ingredient here, and honey truly is an amazing skincare ingredient. As an ingredient, honey contains over 180 compounds within it, and the benefits that it provides are so vast. It is a great regenerative ingredient. It is wonderful for wound healing. It is wonderful for inhibiting bacterial growth. There's studies that show the impact on reducing pain and inflammation, studies that show how it helps to speed up wound healing, which I think ultimately makes honey a wonderful ingredient for people that have any kind of skin irritation, any kind of skin problems. My skin type is dry but acne prone and I absolutely need anti-inflammatory ingredients. It makes a night and day difference for me. So wonderful for my skin type, but also very hydrating. So wonderful for dry skin types. It's basically an ingredient that I don't think most people would be disappointed with. And what I think makes this particular product so phenomenal is it doesn't stop with honey. It also contains quite a few of the other beneficial B ingredients. And I do mean B, not B vitamin, but from bees, buzz. We have propolis, we have bee venom, we have beeswax. I will link a study in the description box, a meta-analysis that talks about all of the benefits of bee-based products. Still doesn't stop there. It's got snail in it, another one of my favorite healing ingredients. Loaded with antioxidant-rich ingredients, loaded with humectants. Again, I feel like this mask is just incredibly restorative and reparative. Anytime my skin was starting to feel a little bit irritated or a little bit dry, I would slather this all over my face, leave it on for about an hour, and my skin would be amazing afterwards. Amazing. It is such a wonderful mask. I do want to talk a little more about using it. So very kindly, they include scoops with all of their products. So you just scoop out some of this. It is definitely a thick, gloopyish consistency. Don't let that deter you. That in itself, that feeling has benefits in terms of protecting your skin barrier and barrier repair. Also, the smell of this, while this doesn't have any added fragrance, it smells exactly like real honey. Important comparison in place here. So this is some locally produced wildflower honey we have. Yeah, this is exactly what it smells like. Not the cheap fake honey. Oh, it smells amazing and real. Speaking of real, I just have to say, I have to confess the hype on this is real. It is. There's a lot of hype products out there. Sometimes I do not feel that they deserve the hype, but wow. This one does, and quite frankly, when I finish this, I don't think I can live without it. I do not think I can. Next up on your list is the Mugwort Mask. And guess what's next on my list? We do eventually diverge in opinion. It does happen, but I must agree with you. And the number two spot is the Mugwort Mask. What's actually really funny, though, is this was not true initially. If I was making this video solely based on first impressions, this would not be in the number two spot. Instead, I would say the mugwort essence. This is an obstacle that I always have to overcome is that I have uh, you know, certain preferences in skincare. My two favorite categories by far are serums and essences. So it is very difficult for me to admit when I like a product that is not a serum or essence. But again, you know, these videos are not just first impressions. I'm paying attention to what happens to my skin with consistent use of these products. And I just eventually hit a point where I had to admit to myself that this was doing more for my skin than the essence. Even though I quite like the essence as well, you'll see that listed quite high in my own ranking system. My initial hesitation with the mugwort mask was actually kind of a, a consistency thing. So it does contain pieces of mugwort and they can feel a little bit sharp. I think it's just something that was maybe maybe jarring to me initially. They're not too sharp, it's not going to cut your face, but I don't think that I expected it. So I had to overcome this initial, whoa, I don't know if I like that, and you know, pay attention to the actual results. And my results from this mask are phenomenal. One more note before we discuss the ingredients here and what mugwort does. So you should know that this smells exactly like the Shire. 
Do you like the authority with which I just did that? Oh yeah, it's, it smells like the Shire, I'm certain of it. I took this to my partner and I was like, I need you to smell this and tell me if it smells like the Shire. And she says, the Shire, what are you talking about? She smells it and she goes, oh, that smells like the Shire. If you're someone who likes to know what places smell like, yeah, I think you do want to know what the Shire smells like. It's very earthy, very earthy. You expect a hobbit to come around the corner at any moment. What you don't want to know what it smells like is space. Oh my goodness. I am still scarred from smelling that eau de space. Mm. That's all to tell you that while it doesn't necessarily smell fantastic, it also, it really doesn't smell bad. Just quite earthy. And that's because it is made with 2.1 percent mugwort. So mugwort is an ingredient that is excellent for anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant properties, and also for restoring barrier function. This mask also has some other brightening and soothing ingredients in it. We have green tea, we have Sika licorice, and I absolutely did feel that. I did feel that with using this, my skin was much more clear, much less redness, much less inflammation. You know, it's funny, I feel that maybe part of why I was a bit of a skeptic initially is because I tend to be a skeptic with masks. And this is an only, only a 10 minute mask. I always wonder, is that enough time? But for me, after using it, yeah, I really did see results. Again, not immediately. Give it at least a week, more like 10 to 13 days. That's what I always say with these trials. I have formed an opinion by 13 days, but one week in, I absolutely have not. I have not. And I'll tell you something funny about all of these trials that I've done. I've never changed my opinion about a product after two weeks of using it. I have, you know, sorted them higher or lower, but whether I liked or didn't like a product has never changed. Number three on my list is the Mugwort Essence. I decided to buy the mini of this just because I have so much essence. And I have to tell you, initially in this trial, I was regretting my life choice. I was thinking, wait a minute, why didn't you just buy the larger size? Because this is such a wonderful product. I really, really do like this essence. First of all, in terms of texture, it's wonderful. I have to admit that I do like a thicker consistency in my essence. I want my toners to be lighter. Mists are absolutely fine for toners, but when it comes to essence, I want it to be thick enough that I can just pour it into my hand and pat it into my face, and this one is absolutely thick enough. It is a wonderful texture. The smell on this one is lighter than the mugwort mask. Take note of that because that's going to be important in just a moment here. Same benefits with this as we talked about with the mask, wonderful for acne prone skin, wonderful for clarifying, wonderful for fighting off inflammation. Now, the catch with this, where it gets tricky, is that the ingredient on this says 100% Artemisia princeps extract. And that is, of course, the mugwort. So I think where this gets tricky is even for those of you who do know about Korean labeling and the differences in American labeling, I'll link you my video if you missed it, but I'll also summarize. So the difference is in America, you would absolutely not be allowed to have this as an ingredients list. When you're talking about an extract of a plant, it's in something else. It's not pure plant. So if this was made in America, it would absolutely have a different ingredients list. We can only guess at it because this is the only information that I have, but just as as an example here, again, a hypothetical, this could be, let's say, 94% water, a little bit of glycerin, some preservative, and a little tiny bit of mugwort, potentially even less than the mask, which we said had 2.1%. But remember that the mask is made with mugwort leaf powder at 2%. I do actually hypothesize this is less of that mugwort, just from the smell, from the smell alone. See, the thing is, I think that even when you know this, it can be really hard to overcome mindsets. First of all, the mindset that I love essence. Secondly, the mindset that it's 100% mugwort. It's very difficult to mentally overcome. You really have to sit down and think about it and say, could this 
2% versus 100%, could the 2% actually somehow be more effective? Is that possible? The answer is yes, it is absolutely possible, and that is actually what I feel. In the end of this trial, I do feel that I was getting more from the mask. I still really enjoyed this. I can see myself buying a full size down the road, if for no other reason than the humectant-rich sensation with it. It's a wonderful hydrating and anti-inflammatory essence, so it's a really wonderful product. I just think the mask actually did more for clarifying my skin. And let me not mention how you all ranked things. So you all put the rice toner in third place. And then the mugwort essence for you was in the number four spot. For me, in the number four spot is a product that none of you recommended, but I absolutely had to try it because I mentioned loving serums and essences. I also absolutely love a good cleansing balm. And this one is the Fig Cleansing Balm. Honestly, I'm absolutely in love. This is such a wonderful cleansing balm, and I have so many cleansing balms, and yet I sit here saying this. This is incredible. It is so unique, and that's something I'm always looking for. Let me tell you why I say that. So this does contain a little bit of fragrance, but very heavy emphasis on very little. Heavy emphasis on little? You follow me. The reason this stands out so much to me is that I have a wide variety of cleansing balms that I love and that I use, and the vast majority of them are either heavily scented, so much essential oils, and at the other end of the spectrum, we have those completely unscented, no fragrance whatsoever, practical, utilitarian, get the job done balms. There just haven't been a lot of options for people who say, well, I do kind of want a little bit of smell. I want to enjoy taking off my makeup and my SPF, but I don't want to have too much fragrance. There's just not been a lot of options here. Enter the Fig Cleansing Balm. It is perfect. It is a perfect in-between. The texture is beautiful, very similar to, I think I would say it's closest to the Pharmacy Green Clean, actually. It's a little bit less on the super thick side, not the impossible to remove of the Glow Recipe. It's, it's a great texture, great texture. Actually, this brand as a whole seems to be good at cosmetic elegance. You also get a cute little scoop, which I'm storing in my lid. Always appreciate those. And of course, it does have 7.8% fig extract. Can I just, can I say something completely off the wall and not actually all that relevant to the review? Have any of you ever had a product that you, for no reason at all, cannot stop dropping? I'm not even saying that because, oh, now I've got cleansing balm all over my hands, so therefore I can't hold a tub. It's not that. I would try to pick this up with clean hands, and I, I have dropped this probably 30 times. I am not exaggerating. Oh my god! I don't understand. I do not understand what the bad luck is with this, but thank goodness they packaged this into a plastic container. Thank goodness it has been this and not the glass packaging on the others. I, I what's wrong with me? My last two, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a tie. The I'm from Rice toner and the I'm from Rice cream. Again, I think that these are not bad products. I think they're just maybe a little bit less perfect of a match for my skin type. I think if you just have dry skin without the acne, these could be holy grail status for you. In fact, again, where did, where did you all put rice toner? You put it as number three. And for your fourth and fifth, excuse me, fifth and sixth pick, you put the rice cream and the mugwort cream, which I did not try, although I may try it in the future. Rice as an ingredient does have some very interesting research on it that suggests it may be a wonderful ingredient for anti-aging purposes. We have studies that show it has helped to increase elasticity in the skin and decrease hyper pigmentation. And I think another really nice detail of rice is that it has a very low irritant potential. So overall, this may be a wonderful collection for anti-aging purposes and also for dry skin. You know, the toner, the best seller, I do think it's a different product. Most toners do not look like this. I mean, look at how 
<laughs> look at how viscous it is. Look at that. It is an incredibly hydrating toner. Very interesting to, you know, wash your face and then go in with your toner and instantly feel that your skin is hydrated. That really does stand out. But again, you know, uh, coming down to the conversation of finding the right products for your needs. I talk a lot about toners that have active ingredients because again, I have a difficult skin type. It really helps me out a lot to use uh, toners that contain a little bit of anti-inflammatory ingredients. I really like some BHA in my toners. The toner contains 77.8% rice extract and also some niacinamide, other antioxidant rich ingredients. Again, if you're looking for a very hydrating toner, this may be a wonderful choice for you. <laughs> it just dawned on me that I've been making you look at my temporary pride tattoo for this entire video. Let me give you a quick story time. You can jump to the next timestamp if you don't like stories. So um, my friend, my dear, wonderful, kind, caring, but lacking a filter friend decided to tell me the other day, you know, you really look like a Fox News anchor. The pufferfish inflates its body to signify that it is under stress. Thank you for subscribing to Aquatic Facts. I was so upset. I was so upset because this friend is not a liar. This friend is a, a, a very trustworthy person. And uh, you know what that means, don't you? Really, a Fox News anchor, not Anderson Cooper. We have way more in common. So to compensate for my new complex, I dyed my hair pink and gave myself a temporary pride tattoo. One more product to talk about, also a tie with the toner, is the rice cream. It is a nice consistency. It's a really nice in-between. Heavier than most Korean moisturizers, but still not uh, quite as occlusive as... We're going to give an, as an example here my e.l.f. Hello Hydration, Happy Hydration Moisturizer. So the story with this is I was using this day and night for about, I guess, eight or nine days. And then I finally said, no, I'm kind of missing a little bit more uh, occlusive sensation at night. So I, I went back to the e.l.f. Happy Hydration. That's why I keep mentioning it. And that's a $12 moisturizer. This was around 22, 23. So ultimately, I do really like this and I think it's wonderful under makeup but I wouldn't rely on it entirely on its own if you have a much more dry skin type. But oh my goodness, under makeup, this is so cosmetically elegant, beautiful texture, no added scent. And uh, also, if you don't wear makeup, I feel like this gives that beautiful glass skin effect. It really gives a nice glow to your skin. I, I, I don't have any kind of oil on today, it's just this. So realistically, if that's a look that you're going for without any added makeup or without any added oils, again, this could be absolute holy grail status for you. I am glad that I bought it because again, it can be difficult to find a nice moisturizer for under makeup. And for me, this one is just, it's perfect for that. I want to end this video with a quick little wish list. That is none other than the ginseng serum. I've had so many questions about this since I made my ginseng video, but no, I did not purchase this. I think it's solely because the uh, ingredients list does list fragrance with this product, and I know a lot of people avoid that ingredient in their skincare products, but oh my goodness, it looks like such a beautiful ingredients list if you don't mind a little hint of fragrance. I suspect it will be light based on my experience with the cleansing balm. That's the only other product in this video that contains fragrance. Here's why this stands out to me. 7.98% six-year-old red ginseng extract from South Korea. We talked exactly about this in that ginseng video. The aged form of ginseng has more of those ginsenicides. So this could be a really nice option at truly not a bad price point. This retails for $29. That's not bad. And you can find it for less on Yes Style, etc. Also has some green tea, has some licorice, probably a very brightening product. I do find ginseng to be wonderful for brightening the skin. So yeah, this is something you'll probably see on this channel in time. Again, kicking myself, kicking myself so hard for not already buying this one. So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you all again so much, not only for watching this video, but for the recommendation for trying this brand. Thank you all so much. Feel free to leave more recommendations in the comment section below. Share 
share with me your thoughts. Share if you have found other products from this brand that you love. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.